the last time we got uh, slaughtered and uh, played really badly because we could have fled the battle um, to minimize uh, casualties but we're back for good uh, we got Kalia the second uh, but she's only level three and I think uh, you got yourself a new uh, axeman as well yep. voila voila the um, sister of, sister of Freya. Freya exactly and we got Udyr uh, the uh, pugilist so um, we are starting today with a little adventure, a piratey adventure, and this guy here has uh, found the ship. And Chris, if you are okay with that, we're going to repair it and are going to uh, start the adventure. We're giving two hundred gold uh, for him to pay for that. I've been looking for work ever since I left Edoran. If you bring me some material, and I don't know why he would not truck. take our uh, wood because our wood appears to be gone. Like, like, yeah, I needed it in my inventory. There you go. Good. So let's talk a little bit about ships because ta -da, ta -da, because ships are funny and interesting. We can now board the ship, uh, and we need to set a healsman. Uh, who is going to uh, just lead the ship? I think clearly we select the horse. <laughs> no, we clearly do not select the horse. Um, we do, uh, we do have a couple of different uh, traits whilst we are on uh, the ship, a couple of different tasks, so to speak. So let's shortly um, assign these. Um, where's the ship? I think. Um, come on. Hoist the sails or is in? Or yeah, is I'm out. just trying to dock at the moment. Yeah, we just have to click on the disembark. Thing. No, no, we don't I want to disembark. I just wanted the ship, uh, the. Uh, ship menu open. We're going to uh, get that in a second. So um, As for the ship there we go uh, B opens the ship. Uh, we do have a couple of positions uh, Let's just hold the sails for a second. Thank you. We have a couple of positions. Okay, so uh, At the moment we don't have a ballista. So the gunner is not uh, Needed we do have a lookout uh, when the wind changes uh, and when you want to s uh, scout something out, uh, you want someone in the lookout. Typically, you want someone very dexterous in the lookout so that we can uh, speed it up. Uh, would you mind if we're putting um, Lieutenant Aldenor in that? Yeah, absolutely. Let's put him there. Good. Uh, the eagle eye. Uh, I do have to say we are losing uh, fatigue at the moment. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. We're, we're good. Seems to be going down even though we don't move. So uh, we'll do that. So then we do have the drummer, which if we had the bard, that would be great. We don't. Uh, and we do have a fisherman, uh, which Uder is going to take. So if at some point we get the drummer, uh, that would be fantastic. So we're now on the ship. If you open the knowledge tab, you will see there is a sailing tab at the very ba uh, back including a couple of sailing only um, uh, traits uh, which will help us over time and as you could imagine even on the sea we can take a camp uh, if you press c uh, then we go to the camp screen i think it's up to you to do that yep there you go so we now can and or should rather assign our comrades here and during the rests i think what we're going to do is we have one angler over here Udyr is continuing to angle uh, as you can see on the right hand side so he's continuously producing fish during rests mm -hmm. and on the top right side you see a hold uh, yeah. that is essentially where we can store a lot of our goods so um, good news now is we don't uh, uh, we don't need to like carry all of uh, the stuff instead I can put the uh, 
the armors in here as well that we will not be able to use for a while. Uh, that is sadly true. Yeah, I mean, Kevin Geth is like 80% done with the level. But yeah, I'll leave it in here, right? We'll stay on the ship for a while. We will board, de-board, de board, de-board, so... Um... Yeah, but we won't be away from the ship for a long time. No. So put a lot of crafting materials uh, in there, essentially. Are you able to sort the camp chests at all? Uh, no, that is unfortunately okay. not I'll just do that on the side. sortable. Cool, good. We got that. Um, so all we now need to do is uh, rest. Let's go. Pay the mercenaries. Eat a little bit of fish. As you can see, we're now needing 20 food, but we have plenty. And everybody should be in a really, really good mood. Good. We're back at 15 morale. And Kualu now got the natural born leader trait, which troops maximum valor points are increased by one. We're now up to eight potential points. Congratulations. Good. I'm Do repairing. How much we spent? That good. Uh, I'm repairing a couple of your guys, and we're good. So, uh, the next cool thing. Um, is we will get fish by just riding over fish. Look at that. Um, uh, that's just how much fish uh, you're uh, you're getting whilst uh, driving over. Yeah, just drive over those little sprinkly spots. Correct. So if you now open the map, Chris, uh, you let me know where we want to go and what our first task should be. I have no idea, but there appears to be a quest in the south uh, east. Okay, well then, let's do that. That's the awkward poem, which coincidentally enough is uh, the starter quest. We'll get us started. Um, the merchants here from time to time have cloth, which we are very much requiring. And they do have Arcadian steel uh, for later, if we do have enough, um, if we do have enough uh, gold. That would be a great opportunity. So, on the bottom left, Chris, you see a slight navigation um, screen with an arrow. The arrow um, Just the wind direction. explains the wind direction. Exactly. And if the and arrow if comes the from behind... Back, you move faster. Yeah. Presumably. Yeah. All right. Yeah, what confuses me greatly is south for me is in the north. <laughs> so I'm just <laughs> okay. gonna, I'm gonna readjust the, the camera so I can actually use a map. <clears throat> Very good. We're going to land here. Entirely new. Visit every wing, so you're getting me some achievements. See, there you go. Place with Saiken immediately gets some achievements. Did. Immediately goes to Angle. Uh, could you craft me a couple of um, fishing hooks, please? They're in the group chest. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so Just much. Uh, you might have actually put them in the hold. Oh, no, you grabbed them. Thank you. Good. There we go. Finally. So one of our big problems will be feeding uh, that massive party. We still need a few more traits for frugality and uh, so on, so that we're reducing uh, the amount of food. There is a great uh, one, uh, which I suggest we're spending a point in, which reduces the food consumption whilst being on a ship by five. So that would help us. That is pretty crazy. That's like two people. Correct. So what I found out is we can be relatively far apart to grab stuff without like incurring any penalties, penalties in our fatigue. Indeed. Uh, there are 
Oh. Well, you've uh, found a couple of enemies. You want to fight them? Can't let yeah, them. Um, can't let them attack my homie. That is yeah. not okay. And we need cloth. Uh, cloth. So that's actually fine. <laughs> it's like you have to die for cloth. <laughs> yeah. Comfrey heals a dying ally. Gains ten percent of their max health. That is uh, the same the as, as yeah, the snow the blossom. That's a lot of spears as well, but not in a place where we would want to be. A uh, archer boss is going to be a pain. That is true. And then I will do it like this, I think. Uh, I can move Aldenor in, I guess. Buff uh, Kualu and everyone else. Okay. And set up his own eastward. That's a good idea. So, see here. Yeah. Okay, yeah, three people. I can't get four. So, I'm making sure I get. Okay, you want it. Kalia is more enough. important, yeah. She gets two for every single kill. Uh, then, this time we shoot first and then we set up the zone. Because exactly. I keep forgetting that's even an option. There you go. Cool. <laughs> See how far he can move. You might want to kill that poacher with uh, vo uh, Vola. Poacher? Which poacher? The, the archer uh, behind oh, the, us. The bot? Yeah. yeah. We can go to him. We can actually throw a spear point blank. Just be a bit more disrespectful. <laughs> oh yeah, that does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, I, I definitely like that they have put in more kind of environmental uh, items. It makes it so much more fulfilling. Uh, my indicator is bugged, but I can still. I think you can wrath kill, maybe? No, you can't. Uh, ah, close. You need some uh, <clears throat> some open valor slots anyway for uh, valor generation, might as well. Okay, uh, do you want to put your uh, spearmen in position? Uh, we can do that, yeah. Uh, what we can do is go over... No, I don't like that. We'll just go over here and knock him back. Sure, yeah. That should trigger another AO. Yep, there we go. Dead. And then... How far away are these guys? Too far away. Alright. Um, I'll just place him next to Kualu, I think. Sure. Or behind him. I'll place him over here. I just want to make sure Udir can still go to the front. I think that should give enough space. Yep. And then I'll place him. Let's see. <clears throat> I think one of them should run to that. Yes, please shoot your boss. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. All right, uh, starting over here into here. Into that, a little bit of that, and finally that. that. Okay. <clears throat> Not having a good time, that guy. But neither is your rogue. Yeah, Rogue has taken a little beating, but that's okay. Yeah, make sure the guy doesn't walk up to her. So it's... There you go. I think you can start working on those guys, yeah. Wallace just gonna walk past the rogue and take out the archer. Alright. Good shit. Damn, you're uh, not doing too well. Well, what can I say? Pugilists are tank killers. Uh, you might want to go the... for the poacher. Yep. That's exactly what I'm doing. Shouldn't have taken that extra hit. Can't 
can't quite get the berserking, but that's the archer taken care of. Um, I should probably try and take out the guy down there. Um, if I use uh, Kefingeth. Yep, go ahead. Uh, we can knock him through the poison. I want to try that. So let's see. We first aid you because I don't like what you're doing here. Then we so try considerate. To go here I like it. And put him. I'm not sure that gave him a stack of poison. And yeah. then we're just uh, locking him down over here, and you can uh, go away with Udir. Uh, sorry, Kualu. That guy's gonna die for sure. <clears throat> ah, one issue. I should have been next to you, so we get the, the point. Oh well. My bad. Okay, uh, let me maybe take out the hot loom up there. Could have done that without a valor point with the archer. True. Well, <clears throat> we spend it all. Indeed. Go ahead, feel free to kill the scoundrel. Yeah. Hilarious. Uh, we have two points left. We already know if he moves, we don't get a we don't get a trigger. But I can knock him back next turn if he doesn't die anyway. All right. I don't think we have anything we can do with two points, right? So yeah. might as well <clears throat> lock that guy down a bit more. We're taking out that one, nice. And then he gets presumably stabbed to death. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that was some sort of force spear that managed to lift him up without touching him on my. Uh, there is a nice bow for you. Yep, still worse than what I have. Uh, let's rest here. Yep, no repairs needed on my end. Actually, it's uh, the same. And... I do like me a knockback. Yeah, but I do like the higher damage on the current bow. Is that the lizard man over there? Yeah, we got we do have a couple of lizard men. The heck? Siren is uh, what they are called. And they are also actual lizards. Lizard. You'll see. It'll be fun. I like the inspired status, but you can take whatever you want. If you want uh, the relationship with uh, the horse to be better, then that is, of course, an option as well. Aldemar has a lot of willpower already. It's going to become good friends with the horse. Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, a bit too far away now. <clears throat> Completely different biome, too. I like it. Yep. Uh, that's very su uh, southerner style <clears throat> so that's Pervest the biggest uh, city and we got that uh, one strangely written poem important that the for her feel safe. Our presence alone is enough which, to discourage pirates from rape. what is it which we put the into the hold oh no you have it cursed I know who it's from let me see My laugh is like a seagull's cry. That idiot's lucky he's already dead. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me this. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, not exactly a compliment. Very good. So we got a builder's inf uh, a builder's book for your info. We can upgrade our ship. I'll explain that uh, once we get to it. Um, the best goods in and the we need kind of these builders manuals for it unbelievable prices so here we do have marble and a couple of other <clears throat> things which we what could about, uh, wooden plank and stuff 
Um, that is, you can create, uh, you can create that um, with the material that we already do have. Wooden planks are needed for repair of the ship. Um, uh, he had, he had, uh, what's it called? Leather. Let's get the, the leather at least. The okay, cool. Oh. I can see we're not uh, farming leather anywhere else. Well, we're just not getting enough for what we need. Uh, we don't have any iron with us, so. Start the path again. I was trained by one of so we do have a couple of things here. <clears throat> Redian remedy might be something you want to do. That's an alternative to uh, the normal healing potion, right? All right, I'll grab it. And then the propulsion oil actually isn't bad either. <clears throat> Knocks an enemy back. Destabilization card. Yeah, that's actually great for our spearmen. Uh. <sighs> That's it really is hard to make though like well we do have infected blood <clears throat> we do have seaweed we just need rum and pristine um, essences yeah, which we, we can... don't have infected blood but you get that at the same place as the pristine essence right uh, like no uh, infected blood is from uh, plagued but we would run into them so don't uh, don't worry i would if i'd be you i would potentially purchase it sure and then waterproof sealant. Do you know what that is? That looks like something for ships too. Uh, yep, we definitely need that no, because uh, that. that is required in order to do planks in all of the ship materials. So if you go into crafting, uh, uh, you might want to take a look what uh, the waterproof sealant requires. I think it yeah, was first, hemp. Uh, learn these recipes. So we have that ready. <clears throat> yeah, for the next time. Seal. We need yeah. seaweed and resin, so we'll craft that the next uh, time. It's yeah, resin we have more than enough, but fish oil we can buy. Seaweed is the only thing we're missing here. For a waterproof sealant. All right. We don't have any wounds. Uh, I don't think I can craft anything else for us. Nope. Good. I guess we're done. Uh, we're done here. Um, the Temple of Rusa, however, needs our help. Is closed. <laughs> Wait, we need help. There's a plagued rat. Oh on. no. So there's the rat up there. And now it's down there. And now it's gone. We've got to catch that vermin. You will never take a guess where that vermin has uh, ran. Uh to the market? Mm -hmm. Into a vermin nest, uh, which uh, we now need to actually uphill. Oh, there's an actual trail here. Neat. Uh, wait, uh, just one last thing. We, when we're now going for vermin, I would like us when to be I'm repaired. Pairs, I teach our to change up your equipment every Oh, look, then. she has leather too. Uh, metal plate is good and hoist is good as well. You should get both. All right. quickly learning that stuff there you go fantastic so now we need to kill uh, some rats <clears throat> and of course the interest you in my humble wares my good sirs. Uh, of course the better we are doing the better it, it would be for us oh that's nothing okay that looked like something you could collect you might want to check that <clears throat> other merchant yeah, as soon as you're uh, done with your fishing, I noticed that you went down. You will see very soon we're going to have more than enough um, fish. But the cool part about fishing is it also gives us additional resources. You will see um, as higher level uh, fishermen, they have now added the option to get like literally every resource you can imagine. Pretty cool. Um... Damn it! who did we make the fisher initially? I think one of my guys still has the trinket for uh, for better uh, fishing rewards. Okay. Can we go? Ma, I so, interest you. Yeah. Yeah, you grabbed uh, the merchants. Let me see real quick. No. Yeah, Kevin Geth had the uh, fly, so why don't you grab that? So you oh, can dear. grab additional fish. Cool. That That's fantastic. fantastic. Indeed. Ooh, uh, pirates. Okay. 
Well, looks like you're not running away. So. Since when am I running away from a uh, from a fight? Uh, well, we could just go through the recording. I think we have several records of that happening. I'm like Jake Reacher. <laughs> Fighting uh, is my second nature. We have nature. everyone on the same side now. All right, nobody left behind. No. How nice of them to split up like this. Um... Yeah, if you bring your archer uh, next to Kualu. Yeah, I can always move next to him. Uh, I'll do that. Move next to him, set up zone, and do a bit of yelling at you, I okay. guess. Yeah, that's good. Cool deal. Have some orders, and then we're already out of uh, valor points. For shame. <clears throat> a little bit of damage here, and a little bit of damage what? there. Uh, yeah. Um, do you mind doing the shouting? Uh, not at all. Nice. Uh, you know, since we're already clumped up so nicely together, everybody gets 30% sure. damage reduction. Probably would have placed him like one back, so the uh, guy with the mace has to go closer. Uh, no problem. I'm sure trigger staying up, but it's fine. He still does. All right. Good. He actually was smart enough to place himself in such a way that he doesn't completely screw things over. I'll do Vala, see if we can uh, take this guy out, which is probably going to be a yes. Let's see if he dies. He does not, so we have to use that. Very good. All right. And then I'll just support you, I guess. Cool. Uh, over there. Should be the least bit out of uh, in the way. I'm now disarmed. Uh, that pugilist had taken my weapon for one round. You can see That's guard still remains, but I can't use any other skills. Uh, we can do a bit of knockback yeah, here. Go ahead. That's a good idea. Get our last uh, A up. And set them up nicely for Bola to potentially run in and uh, kill them. If I set up a zone. Hmm. I'll set up a zone, why not? Very good. You will see a lot of pugilists in the southern realms. Yeah, it makes sense. <clears throat> they introduced them with this uh, particular... So... Okay, uh, you know, I might as well show you how it's done. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Jesus. It's not taking no for an answer. Yeah, it's all fun and games with that execution move if you're not using freaking Katars. <laughs> and you're just giving him an uppercut. Else that is pretty brutal. Again, yeah, we have two guys that can act before he goes, so you for sure can kill him. Matter of principle. Yeah, you don't need to care too much about being engaged. Uh, yeah, they're not coming anywhere close to us. No. So let me just uh, go ahead. Um, put Aldemore. Well, it doesn't matter, right? Can you just can shoot like this? Like this works. Get a free shot off. I don't think they'll even get close enough to trigger his zone. Double check. Uh, Barely. Potentially one of them can, but yeah. it's, it's a bit of a waste of points, no? No, you will uh, have it for the entire next turn. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Finish uh, the Buccaneer. Can do. Uh, do we have a knockback? We don't. Alright. That guy's tanky. There we go. 
Past tense, my friend. Past tense. Was was thank you, I guess. Indeed. Gonna chill over there, not get in anyone's way. <clears throat> Good. I'll just position myself right here. Then uh, I'll knock him back. Sure, yeah, that's a great idea. For shits and giggles. Uh, and then let's see uh, their movement again. Uh, you can point. still set up a zone, why not? Yeah, it's a bit difficult, but I can set one up. I Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, the pugilist just waits here and chills out. No, no need to over complicate it. Yeah, feel free to reset up your zone if uh, yeah. if you want. It's uh, pretty much what we're doing. I'm just trying to see. Yeah, anywhere I go, I'm in the way. Um, I can move the rope next. You want to move the rope? Okay. No, I, yeah, I could. Case, we go to here. Uh, take a shot first. I think aim means I ignore. Yeah, perfect. That guy goes next. I'll make sure he eventually dies when he actually moves in. Alright, very good. So let's do a little bit of poisoning. A bit of that. And a tiny bit of this. We don't need to waste any of our throwing utensils. Okay, uh, shall I just go to the front? Uh, we can do that, or I can just reposition uh, Bola since she won't be able to attack All anyway. Right, do that. All right, I'll just place her over there. Be done with it. <laughs> Collect our free kill. Two, three, four, five, and a kill. Pugilist just murders him. Yeah, that was pretty sick. Reinforced inter whatever the hell. It's a good medium helmet. Oh, Captain Gath leveled up. Now I'm very uh, upset that I left the armor in the ship. <laughs> He's level four, yeah? That is indeed the case. We have, uh, what is that helmet? It is medium. Yeah, so, so something for your guys. Pirate's lucky charm. Every time they critical damage. That's neat. Good, we're going to go and do the rat's uh, nest next. Uh, in a perfect world, we could get one or two of uh, the... Um, infected pillars down for more pristine essences but uh, we don't yeah we don't need it if we only get the, the mother red that still will give us one i think of yeah, if we do uh we do want to rest probably before sure, we go, yes. there, go there because we won't have any valor you have no honor here 
We don't have anything we can buff people with, or do we? Not really. What a shame. I'll just put everything into the group loot again. Some lavender. Um, should I make some torches? Can I even make torches? No. No, you're oh, missing. Uh, you're missing cloth, and we. <laughs> the next thing that you should uh, do is the banner, in my perspective. Good. Resting, and it's time for some good some old uh, rats. Oh, I really hate those missions. You do? Yeah, I don't like rats at all. Well, we theoretically do have seven pillars. Uh, mm. Uh, before the we problem do... is like we don't have any um, like your your poison build is kind of shit against them and uh, we probably want Aldenor to set up a zone pretty much immediately. Yeah, the yes. question is more uh, which of the pi uh, pillars are we attacking? Can we go? We could the... take out one in the north, also, and the one to the east. I think two pillars should be very manageable. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, then Udur focuses on the pillars, uh, together with Kalia to the east, and just be careful not to poison those pillars. Well, uh, are they healing from poison? Yes. Just like the rats. They do take no damage, or they even heal. One of the two. Poison damage restores health instead. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well. Just in general, like your rogue is going to do more damage to us than to the enemy. I know. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, shit. Uh, you want to send Udir out, which makes sense. Um, Aldenor, we used to take out some rats. So we put them over here. Uh, you can get this yeah. kind of shit damage. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. So I think Vola we want to keep to kill the rats too. Okay. Very effective with her AOE damage. We could try and set out Kefingeth to attack the northern pillar. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. Let's try that. And then, yeah, Kevin Gas and Udir go for that. And I think we can burst down the rat very quickly with uh, Bola. Okay. If we need to. All right. We good? Uh, I guess we'll ready. set up the zone with uh, Aldenor. And get us and... nice little inspired. Yep. Just uh, checking. Doesn't really matter where I do that. Good. And then we want our zone to be probably just from behind you, right over here. Good idea. Straight that way. <clears throat> and then as long as... Oh yeah, cool. Um, I can just get us a ton of points with Bala. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, or you could do a yell. No, I'll go in time. Do that and already hit the big red so that it is close yeah. to death. I mean, I can put it very close to that. Yeah, go ahead. It's not moving anyway. And it's not engaging, so... I don't and see. then... Well, I probably want to be on the side over here so I can attack some rats next turn without risking killing the big rat. Yeah, the big rat won't trigger anything. Should also let you get us some energy. Should I uh, run away with Kevin Gelf and start attacking the uh, outgrowth? Sure, go ahead, yeah. Looks like there's no spot I can attack it from without. Uh, yeah, you need to be poisoned. Dealing with the poison, so. Okay. <coughs> Eight damage. Okay. Fantastic.
Well, that's, I guess, one thing that ex ex uh, excels in this kind of fight, the whole attack opportunity thing. Yeah, uh, that indeed is the case. There you go. Problem is, yeah, yeah. galvanization might help us uh, mm, over here with the pillars. Yeah, not sure if uh, Kevin Geth will actually be able to destroy the pillar. You might be able to take down another one to the east with Udir before we're that far. <laughs> a very low damage character at the moment not even sure if you upgraded this sphere at all no i don't think I so know, uh, maybe i, I can help with kalia and then next turn we're just destroying it and kill the red and then that's it yeah yeah go ahead uh just don't use poison please uh that won't uh, really be possible to not use poison Well, you can't really poison it, apparently, which is good. There you go. You poisoned it. <laughs> okay, uh, clearly my Spearman is dealing no damage. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Well, nice with more move. crit and more strings, uh, he will be dealing damage. Uh, suggestion? Or just... Uh, let me just destroy... Yeah, oh no, the pillar is gone. You can, you can actually kill uh, the Red King. Go ahead. Um, right, let's do that. Uh, we're just gonna quickly do a bit of trolling. Sprint in and then ba bam ba bam. Go over here. Nice. And then smash. rip. Good. I mean, look for the for the uh, based on the that fact that was very nice that we have so little gear. Well, that actually went uh, surprisingly well, and we got five potential pristine essences out of it. Didn't really lose much. Let me take a short break. All right. So, what found, is this? Found the harbor. Um, beetles uh, or Betleys does have a couple of recipe uh, recipes that you might be interested in. One crack in the hull, and your ship is done for. So a lot of tinkerer recipes, repairs, wooden plank, for instance, and the hemp burlap, uh, which is another component. So essentially, you get all of uh, the recipes here. Um, and do we have enough money? The triangular sail isn't bad. What about the rounded? Oh, I mean, yeah. Do we want to spend all our money here? You can, yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, mm, go ahead. These are all of the ship upgrading uh, options, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy that these don't cost us uh, points. Good. In terms of next points, uh, I think we should learn Pristine Essence, because that is uh, what we can do with the plague-ridden samples um, once we're back in, in the next town. We, we don't have any plague. Oh yeah, these. Very good. Let's camp and I would say we're going to make a couple of pristine essences then. See? Yeah, I don't have any options in the Tinker. I guess it's alchemy, right? Uh, you need alchemy first uh, in order to do the waterproof uh, sealant. And then um, you do have uh, the tinkerer options for you basically smear that waterproof uh, uh, sealant on wood in order to make uh, wooden planks. Um, the metal planks are smith. Yeah. Uh, you well, these are all terrible. Yeah, rodent phobia is the uh, the least bad. Really? Yeah. 
And it's just a status, right? So it fades after all. Correct. Yeah, we'd rather have that than getting minus five to happiness every damn rest. True. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, we did all of our housekeeping. The only thing that we Aren't need, Chris, here are a couple our of bounties. So how would you feel about an average dif uh, difficulty bounty? It will probably be fine. That looks good. How about mm -hmm. a another easy bounty? It's a bit of a shame that nothing else is in the north. Yeah. And another yeah. easy one right next to us, so that's easy money. Indeed. So suggestion, let's do the bounties and explore the rest of the island, uh, because there's a bit more uh, to this island yeah. than the meets the eye. See, right over there. There's anything in the south either, so seems like a good idea. And right over here is our bounty yeah and an invisible troop Fantastic. step aside mercenaries they lied these heathens have turned this is more templars right into temples yeah their false eyes so i think we're just going to uh do per persuade because that uh, saves of uh, uh, combat and we're stay. still successful Very well. and we have plenty of it well, we got uh, Saint Leonard's emblem, uh, which yeah. is uh, a legendary one. Proficient experience gained by the troop increases by 5%. I'll just put that on Qualu, uh, which means everybody will get that. So from now on, uh, we're getting 5% more experience, period. Yeah. Do you want to have a look at the sword, by the way, that we got as a reward for destroying the rat's nest? Oh, that is, useful for I think, a good one. Reaping uh, is an AoE, it looks. And it knocks back. Ooh. <laughs> I think that's a good one. Yeah. There we, no, it's a two-handed sword. Never mind. Ah, shame. Yeah, I wasn't sure. But they are one-handed swords that knock back as uh, well, and they are absolutely good. You will see the knockback mechanic is going to play an important role here in uh, the game. Okay, there is How one. convenient that we benefit. What? Why did I? Okay. There is one part of the island that you haven't seen, the palace. So let me show the palace to you. Just the thing there on the, the rock. There's the lizards again. The lizards, yeah. Are these just crocs? Like the croc things? Uh, sort of, yeah. But not the same, okay. No, they are very different. And they are quite good. Uh, they are immune to bleeding, poison, and a couple of other status effects. Oof. Okay. And uh, they do uh, cause poison themselves. And they are super fast. And they do have a bit of a damage um, return mechanic. They cause bleeding if someone uh, attacks them. That sounds rather unpleasant. Yeah, overall it's a good package. Uh, they don't have that many hit points, so I think that's fine. But they are relatively strong. Just collecting some points for us, but I don't think we get a level up yet. Nope. Uh, you're going to the palace. Okay. Yeah, I just want to show you the palace. There is really not much later. It's going to be important. Uh, and the rulers here are called Dahija. Uh, and there are kind of three of them. And essentially, you could listen into the conversation, but uh, let's not do that now. There isn't, you're not getting anything out of it other than realizing that she's essentially. Uh, listening to the common folks. I want to move up to here to set the python. Yeah, because... I was gonna say the same. <laughs> Definitely want the python there. Good. There's some uh, like stragglers uh, on the side there as well. Yeah, we don't need them. 
Uh, no we thumb? do have plenty okay. of uh, boardings to do. Alright, as you say. Probably useful to have a pipe in here as well. Great minds think alike. Uh-oh, lizards. Oh. They have a big aggro range. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the python while you run away and put it down. Oh, you can't run away if I'm not with you, so I guess I'll have to follow. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try not to uh, them to annoying things. Alright, we're almost at the ship. So much for a python. <laughs> That's okay. So next time that we uh, board here, Chris, we're taking our material with us. Now, for now, let's First what of do all, you mean? Next time we board, we take our material with us. Um, next time uh, we de, de board here, we take the crafting stuff so that we uh, can oh, actually yeah. craft a little bit more. Yep. That makes sense. Is there a reason why you. Oh, there we go. So the, the ores give us more max speed, is that what I'm seeing? Yes. But you can't put them out, I take it, if you're too close to shore? That is correct. Um, okay. The next thing that we need is a little bit of wood um, for the next. For the I'll next. Make us some uh, more. I'll make us two more pythons. Actually, okay. one more python. I don't want to spend too much of our rope. Seems like we need uh, quite a bit of it everywhere, and we don't have any material for more. Okay. Lock picks we have enough, and fish hooks we have enough as well. Good. So what I was about uh, to show is we are we're helping w with them being talk. stranded, and they essentially ask us for wood. Damn, pushed us into the reefs, so we've got a breach. Oh, Sora be praised. That's exactly what we needed. So unfortunately, they so can't they tell us what we need to know. To know. Need uh, essentially, the storyline is uh, the Djaya is looking for a lost crew. Um, one of their boats disappeared and they don't know where it has gone to and it's our job to find it and they gave us a couple of indications where it might be but nothing yeah. looked okay so far but we're now going north away from where that quest would continue correct because there are yes uh, we're going north because uh, there are a couple of uh, bounties up there Chris mm -hmm. And it's um, going to be your first naval battle. We are a bit fatigued, you might want to rest. Yeah, we're doing that. I'm a bit worried. Did I see a shipwreck in the north there? Uh, potentially, yeah. Alright, uh, you didn't set your angler. Yep, should do that as well. We do have a lot of food, so we're not, comple it's not completely useless. But you're right. I'm set. Uh, that over there in the north, that's a shipwreck, right? Uh, in the north, uh, yeah, back, uh, back there, there is a shipwreck. If you want, we can get it. There is a, uh, it. Let's finish our bounty before we mess around in the water. Okay. <laughs> it does a little uh, turn around, yeah. A lot of commitment to the movement of the ship, looks like. Uh, yeah, the, the uh, whole. Uh, the whole uh, ship part is just phenomenally well done. All right, let's get the resources and kick some booty. Always done one. Once you figure out how to fish. Yep. There are, by the way, open, uh, open water fishing uh, spots as well, which is cool. That's where you can get... Uh, tuna and uh, shark uh, and so on so a couple of really good spots good and you can see yeah, i remember the uh the fly being like ridiculous for fishing with the additional fish chance i wonder if that works with like 
high seas fish too. Don't want to fight them. We have more important business to do. Such as fighting these guys, yeah. These guys, yeah. Ooh, level five. Yeah, the problem is we're now in kind of a situation where Kualu is nearing level five, and since we're playing adaptive, the highest level is taken, right? So we yeah. really need to make sure that uh, the lower level guys are up for the task. Hmm. There's an archer in the north, and there is no archer in the e east, uh, west, so we might want to go e east first, take out the leader, the elite, and the archer. Okay. And let the rest run through the mud. Potentially slow down their fastest guy with uh, Kefingeth. Still the best name in the group. <laughs> uh, Alenor yeah. um, might want to move up a little bit, then set up the zone. You can even yeah. spend Valor in order to... I think I can, I can have him here and then just move up to you. Sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let me see if this uh, actually has a decent spot where I can get everybody. No, I will only get three. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, so let's do that then. Move to here. Do a bit of shouting. Uh, set up the El Clasico, which is the zone. None of them can get to us this turn. The rogue can maybe throw a dagger or something. What I could actually do is move in with Kefingeth and set up a zone to stop the hoodlum. Sure, go ahead. Uh, Alternatively, um, I poison uh, Megith and uh, the Scoundrel. Yeah, go ahead and take your turn instead. Makes more sense. We're in absolutely no danger from the south at the moment. Can instead just let them get closer. We're gonna get shot by that archer. Potentially, yeah. Definitely. Good. We're positioning ourselves here. You probably should have shouted at the back first. Get us our energy. Everybody takes a less damage. We're moving in, and we're good. Might have been better off shouting first and then, like, doing the damage reduction first and then uh -oh. shouting. Ouch. Yeah, that's, uh. Well, I mean. I do a first aid. Easy. Yeah, I'm gonna move. Oh, you do first aid. Okay. We can do another round of first aid if you need it. Not exactly in a great condition there. If you want me to bring uh, seven Yeah, I think well. that wouldn't be the worst idea. Right. It's just gonna do a bit of a stab and then move in. Should have enough movement for that. She hit he, she hits like a truck. We certainly need to be careful with high level rogues. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I'll go to here. Heal you. And then set up a zone. Let's double check their movement. This guy will make it to us. This guy potentially as well. So we can stop at least one of them. All right, fantastic. And then this guy is. Not yeah, their higher level really <clears throat> is noticeable. Yep. All right, uh, what to do? Uh, I could go like full hog down here, but that seems like a bit of a, a risk. Uh, mind if I just set up uh, myself? I'll move around the trap, and then next turn I'll charge the road. The, the yeah, or you go down, uh, hit, uh, then unload on the hoglom, and go back with your sprint. You do a valor, so you 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 have orderly, so you would be even valor uh, neutral. Uh, we can do that. 
should be able to kill him if I get a crit at all. No such thing, but it's just good enough. All right, uh, I have a little bit of movement left. Yeah, and then just sprint. Yep. Sprint, uh, funnily enough, is never um, impacted by the mud, which makes yep. it very good. Yeah, I usually have to double check if uh, yep. this guy is going to hurt too. No, no, he did not hurt at all. Okay. Um, so we still have our defensive setup, set up in the setup, setup. Uh, I could move in with Bola, who is already uh, buffed for more damage. Let me bind the Spender. archer in the back, and then okay, you can yeah. do whatever uh, you feel is necessary. That is a good idea. Wouldn't want him to uh, shoot your rogue again. No. And we're good. All right. Uh, in that case, I will try and take out uh, that lad. That should not trigger a trap according to the prediction. Very good. Let's see if we can get a damage buff with a crit first. We cannot, but that's still... Oh, we did. Okay, nice. Um, how much movement do we have left? Zero. Okay. In which case, we'll just scan it. Cool. Easy peasy. So that archer is going to die next turn, either from you or from uh, Vola reinforcing. Uh, yeah, we kind of want the other guys to move in. Uh, the archer still gets his turn, right? So I guess I can uh, move in with mine and uh, take a shot at him, see if that kills him. Sure. Definitely not. Definitely. Okay. With a crit, it does. <laughs> with a crit, it certainly does. And then um, I don't want to box you in with the rogue. But we can move here and set up another zone. Are we fighting consecutive battles? Mm, maybe. Okay, but shouldn't be too worried about being up to two points. All right, bring it on. Yeah. Oh, they're certainly going to bring something. <clears throat> and that should block the Marauder from getting close enough. Um, Kevin Gath. Oh, yeah, get your free kill, I guess. That is very reasonable. Just make sure you're very, very safe. Charlie and Aldenor's relationship have improved. As it should. They are bosses. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna make sure we get our free attack opportunity here. Uh, Do so, and I think we're gonna done knock then. Him closer, actually, since yep. we're gonna finish him anyway. Not gonna do a zone. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that works. <laughs> Good. Uh, we got a Devious Whirlwind level 5 dagger, 3 yeah, star, easy, right? which is great. Um, once I am level 4, that would be uh, the best uh, thing. Nice, and I can get uh, Aldenor up to 50 willpower finally. Oh, we immediately get fighted again. Oh, and he gets a point. Please don't start to fight yet. Sure. Every time. two attacks applies vulnerability, or each time uh, we get a crit, it applies bleeding. Hmm. Personally, a big fan of vulnerability with all the additional attacks we're doing. Sure, I, that uh, um, sounds like we a are decent going choice. Towards, yeah, we're going. Yeah, you have your guy that applies bleeding, and uh, that's an enabler for some other crit payoffs. So let's do that. I seem to recall that later on you can get additional shots to, to guarantee crits. Yes. Um, did you repair? I did repair. And equip your new dagger? Uh, no, because not uh, yet enough level. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. It sucks, but... Yeah, around every turn we regret. The game really needs to kind of uh, let it sink in. Yeah. And we fucked up. But we effed it up really, really badly. 
over there. Yep. Seems reasonable. Um, run in, buff them. Probably makes sense to have it this way. Let's see. I this think guy your Alenor should change, uh, switch with Walla because then... No, it's okay, actually. Yeah. Uh, he can't give it to everybody anyway. Uh, we might actually have... Need... One sec. Uh, yeah, I can't get... I can only get three people with it. Yeah, that's okay. I can get four, the four people in the back, for example. Yeah, but Kualu so. has the best skill, so you definitely would want to get him. Yeah. All right. Go here. Do a bit of a tactical order. Uh, no zone, sadly. Mm. We can shoot somebody from here. Uh, start working on the Corsair, probably. Road types have been very painful for us. And that's it. I think, yeah, both our guys that died died to a rogue too. Yep. The only one who ever uh, drew first blood, a rogue. Mm, I can go in and uh, start swinging over there. You might want to do that in the back line. Um, what, uh, against the other two? Yeah. Okay. Um, currently double checking how far they can uh, walk so I can set up the freebooter if you want down here set up for finishing him off with Vala yeah, yeah okay uh, I could set up a zone uh, on the other flank uh, in the east so they can't get to us okay but you definitely want to shout I think give us some full uh, energy with uh, Kualu good I'll, I'll do that and then you make sure that the Buccaneer charges you and not somebody else. Yeah, I think if you hit three people, we're almost maxed. If you hit four, we are fully maxed. What a guy. Good. Bring it on. Oh, it's just an overachiever. Yeah, well, he certainly brings it on. That was not fun. Should have placed myself a little bit further to, uh, to yeah, the north. I lay up. So, who goes next? Uh, the Corsair there. Uh, I can stop him in his tracks, but then the Freebooter will get to attack. Uh, yeah, still do human. it, yeah. Might as well, as well do that. All right. Make sure only one mm. goes in, not two. How about you position yourself behind Kualu and then just make a zone there? Oh, there, that's fine as well. Yeah, I'll get to attack at least this way. Just want to make sure I don't waste my auto attack. Good uh, thinking. <laughs> yeah, do a bit of a Everybody gets that forward? That's a crazy skill. Yeah, pretty good. Is that a, a skill for your guy? No, uh, that is uh, the pirate's uh, racial ability, so to speak. The leader can do fervor, uh, and then it stacks whenever they crit. It's good. Pretty sick. All right, uh, we have your rogue. Yeah, and, I can. Uh, I can go with the rogue. Okay. Yeah, we uh, how about this? And then a little bit of that. And a bit more of this. Of... Into that. And then GTF. Indeed. Uh, I think we're okay here. We just right. need to uh... see how far that guy can go. Oh, he's, he's showing. <laughs> like an easy. idiot, he ran a, into a trap. Yeah, now I'll just say we over there. Um, All right, go ahead, do that. I do want to set up to, if at all possible, a zone to the left. You mean? No, I would want to kill the buccaneer before he gets to act, essentially. But that's gonna be a, a tough ask. The corsair for sure is gonna die, so I'm gonna. Go for him, we can finish him off. She might even be able to kill him. Not quite, but close enough. 
and then mind if I like position myself? Yeah, go ahead. Right, yep. because then we have oh, some space for other people. I see. And in theory, I could have Vola. Yeah, now we don't have that zone, unfortunately. Good. The Buccaneer needs to die because that guy, like uh, the one in the middle, but uh, the Freebooter also needs to die. So, shall I kill so that Freebooter? The happens at the end of the turn, right? Yeah. Shall I kill the Freebooter down there? Uh, yeah. Seems like a good idea. And then uh, I guess Bola just has to take the damage from uh, the Buccaneer. Very unfortunate, I'm a little bit unhappy. You should have probably just let uh, Aldenor take the hit. Oh boy. Can I heal did myself? You, <laughs> real did quick? you just trigger your uh, cheat death? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, sure. Okay, fantastic. You might want to make sure that the uh, Buccaneer can't run up to her. Ooh. Because he's gonna run up and attack uh, the Archer and uh, your Rogue now, I think. If you can position yourself like to the left of uh, Aldenor, like and mm, away from Aldenor. Don't Aldenor. think that he will do that, but I can. Like he's looking at him. The implication, yeah. Alright, uh, you were right. Uh, you do have uh, first aid on Eldenor, I think, if you could uh, do me the favor. Uh, we have no points, sadly. So Then let me, be... uh, let me do that. Um, I will get us points. <laughs> Can you want to kill that gun? Uh, I don't have any dam uh, remaining damage uh, skills. He's currently out of uh, range of the others, so he's bound. Alright. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, we have the Corsair that still gets to go, the Freebooter. The Freebooter is bound, Corsair is not, the Buccaneer is bound as well, so I am going to shoot that Corsair over there. Yeah, but please uh, use first aid. Ah, uh, yes. I don't have first aid. Uh, any of your characters with first aid? Oh yeah, yeah you're a spearman. Uh, yeah. Who would have to disengage though? No, you just need to attack. It automatically disengages, doesn't it? Oh yeah, true. Uh, I forgot. It is a spear. No, 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 no. That one goes last, so they will get another turn. Actually, I can stop their turn. Uh, yeah, we should be okay. We do this. Uh, I literally cannot get to you, and I don't have dash. Oh wait, I can, if I go all the way over here. Okay. Uh, that, and then I guess... Well, yeah, I'm I waiting can't... for that armor to be upgraded, man. Uh, what we can try and do, see if we can get some aggro if I move to here. No. Uh... I think we just, you just block uh, the uh, set up a zone so that the freebooter can't reach us yeah the thing is he's not gonna go this way I think freebooter you mean the Corsair no I actually meant the freebooter but it's okay I think yeah, we're well, okay I wasn't in position I had no movement left for that but yes that uh, would have been my plan but I had to go too far around to heal you Good. You can definitely kill the Corsair. Uh, or I hit, am, damage uh, the Freebooter. I'm not gonna bother. He's gonna die for sure once he moves in, so... We're going to... I could, in theory, dash all the way over to the Freebooter and bind him. Uh, not a bad idea. You do have armor. I do have two characters at 3 and 6 hit points, respectively, so... Yeah, but is, I think the Buccaneer, if you just kill him, go for the Buccaneer. I think we're fine. Okay. 
As you say. Tanks quite a bit of damage. That should engage him. Um, how much damage does he deal? Plus 9 strength, so I'm just gonna spend one of our points for a weakening there. Okay. Uh, if you could do me the favor and block... Uh... Oh, that's a nice one. Uh, and block the passage to the north uh, with your archer. Just literally mm -hmm. stand in uh, in there so that yep. he, you know, that he cannot like that. through. Yeah. And then you can shoot. And... Uh, I can't block it without... Yeah. Yeah, I have to do it that way. Uh, we have two temp points. I could, in theory, yep, set ahead. up a zone for another shot. It's a good one. Might even yeah. kill him. No. Nope. Uh, actually, yes, it's a crit. Why do I bother? <laughs> All right. Uh, the guy's bound, so you might want to move your uh, rogue if you can. Use the surrounded. Is that an option? Um, that would be an option, but I think the... Yeah, no, that might not have enough damage. Your uh, annoying AoE is gonna be a problem. Don't run the hell away. Nice. Um, yeah, finish him with Udir, I guess. Or with uh, Claude. Wow. Closer that than expected. Rough. That was uh, quite rough. <clears throat> Indeed. We got Shall a couple of level 4 medium armors. Uh, that one I think is good for you. Yeah, I agree. I'll take that. Uh, Kefingeth uh, finally gets uh, some, up some upgrades. Critical damage as well. Which isn't bad. I mean, the guy definitely yeah. uh, needs a bit of a damage upgrade. I think, by the way, we're uh, ending the episode here. We've been in, quite, uh, in for quite long. Uh, let's trade our stuff in and do the next episode uh, with a fresh slate. <laughs>